hi guys welcome back to silent studios once again this is your man kid k and i'm here with another exciting video of how to make your photography logo as an action in photoshop but before we get to the video please kindly subscribe to my channel if you are new here and turn on the notification button to get notified when i post any video all right so without wasting much time let's jump in okay so after retouching and editing your photo you like to put up your photography logo on it and we tend to go in every time and bring in our logo which is a whole lot of stress so this is a simple tip that is going to make your work move faster by making it as an action okay so i have mine here and when i play it i just have it right here and then i go for it and then export my photo okay so this is what i'll be teaching you guys today so let's start all over again so i'll delete this and then i clear all my actions and then i'll show you guys how i go about creating my photography logo as an action okay and unless i forget please if you are not finding your action panel here please go to the window section and then look for action and then you get it or you can just press alt alternative plus f9 and then you have it okay so we come here and then we create a new set yes so this set is going to contain the black and white logo so in case you want the black logo you just click on it and then you have it same as the white okay so let's name this photography logo or anything you want to save it as any name photography logos yes it's going to be two okay then we press okay so with this we are going to create a new action yes so one for the black logo and one for the white logo okay so let's click on new action and then we name this black and then we press record so anything you are going to do here is going to be recorded so let's go in for our logo and then i bring in the black one okay let me place it here okay it's taking a bit long okay. all right we have it so when you look through here you're going to see that it has been placed yeah so this all what i want so i'm going to cut it off from here and then you click on this and then the, the recording has been saved okay so we are going to record another one for the white one too as well so let me turn off this eye and then we come here again and then we go for new action so we are going to name this as the white white and then we press record so we are going to repeat the same process for the black one too as well so we drag in our white logo yes okay we have it nice and sweet and then we cut off the recording from here all right so now let's select it to the button mode yes we have our action nice and sweet okay so let me delete these two layers so when we play the action we can know it's perfectly working okay so assume we've done or we are done retouching our image and then we we have to place our logo on it we just click on it and then we have it and then we do same for the white one as well so if you have an image which which demands a white logo you just select it or colored or black yes so i think this is the white one yes i actually did not use this for my the original photo yes i just type in my photography name okay so now i'm going to show you guys how to save it in case you have um a different pc or you want to share it with a friend how you can transfer it okay so you come here then select button mode and then we will have to save this action maybe you might lose your pc or anything can happen whereby you want to retrieve your photography logo action 
So we select this and then click here again and then you come to save actions. So when you click on save action, it's going to give you a place where you want to save your action. So I'll choose desktop. Yes. And then I'll choose logos. And then I'll save it here. Okay. Our photography logo action has been saved. So when I look into this folder, it's here. So when I share this action with anyone, the person can use it. Yes. And it's quite simple. Okay. So this is how I went about my retouching. This is the before and after. Yes. Yeah, so if you want to know how I go about retouching and editing my photos, please let me know in the comment section and I'm going to do a tutorial of it. Yes. Um, please, if you are new here too as well, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification button to get notified anytime I post a video. Yes. Okay. Okay, so this is what I have for you guys today. I guess you find it interesting. Yeah, this is your key and I'm out.